Yeah. My clock says it's 6.02 p.m. Pacific time, so that's okay. officially when we're supposed to be getting started two minutes ago. So, Ted, just give me a second, and I'll uh, get us started with our, our little introduction, and then we can get started right away with the presentation. Does that sound good? That sounds great to me. All right. So, again, everyone, this is Dave DeBow with Canadian Profits, and I want to welcome everyone to this very special online presentation that we're doing with our new friend Ted Thomas. Again, this is Wealth Without Risk, how Canadians are cashing in on U.S. delinquent properties. And if there's anybody who knows a heck of a lot about this topic, it's definitely Mr. Ted Thomas. Um, Ted has been involved in real estate since the early 1980s. He became a specialist in talking about uh, tax liens and tax deeds and, and showing people not only across the United States and Canada, but worldwide, how to take advantage of this amazing, uh, very, very profitable, and very safe investment opportunity. So our purpose for tonight's call is to show folks, conservative investors who are searching for a safe, secure, and predictable investment for their money, how they're going to learn about how their money is secured with tax lien certificates, how it's protected by the American Property Tax Code. And the reason I invited Ted on this call is because he figured this out not recently but decades ago how to tap into this little known market and be able to earn 16, 18, even up to 24% or more interest or even buying mortgage free real estate investing for 10 to 20 cents on the dollar with government guaranteed tax lien certificates and tax deeds. So, again, very, very pleased to have Ted Thomas on the call. And like I say, Ted's been a real estate investor for decades. He was formerly a commercial airline pilot and got started in real estate in the early 1980s. He's a nationally known best-selling author and a publisher in the area of government tax certificates. He's done more than 200 radio and TV interviews, most recently on ABC, CBS, NBC, and Fox, and he's been recognized in Newsweek, USA Today, and the Wall Street Journal as well. So Ted has a system that works in today's market, and he's definitely the go-to guy when people want to discover how to invest in secure American government certificates that pay 16, 18, up to 24%. So I want to highly recommend that you grab a pen and a paper. So you want to be taking lots and lots of notes on this and how it works and how you can get involved. And Ted, I have to say, we just meet, we just met relatively recently when I was down in your neck of the woods in Florida earlier on this year. But Ted, I've known about you for years. I uh, first became aware of you through Dan Kennedy and his organization. and always admired you as a phenomenal marketer, not just a real estate investor, but a phenomenal marketer, which is really uh, where my passion lies. But that's where I first heard about you, started studying materials, started getting interested in tax liens and tax uh, certificates as well. So, Ted, it's a real pleasure to have you on the call tonight. Wow, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. That's nice of you to uh, give me such a nice introduction. Huh? And for everyone that's listening, uh, welcome to the call and uh, get ready because there will be a lot, I mean a lot of content on this call. I've actually taken about three hours and I've condensed it down into about an hour and 30 minutes. So this will go pretty quickly. Uh, I speak at about 100 miles an hour and so you'll see that you're going to get a lot of information. It will move fast but you're going to like what you hear and you'll see a lot of your uh, Canadian friends that have come here and done exactly what I hope many of you will want to do when uh, we finish the call. So why don't we start, we'll get started and uh, we'll move quickly and later on I'll tell you about the chat box and things like that, but just kind of open up your mind and, and let's just go ahead and move forward together. The workshop was incredible. The, the level of expertise, the level of knowledge that has been passed from Ted and the other presenters and speakers incredible. But never have I been to one that has offered me so much information toward achieving my financial goals as this one has. Uh, this definitely has no risk if we follow the program that Ted has set out for us. I highly recommend it. Unequivocally, this is the best seminar that I have ever been at. And it's far and away the best money I've ever spent. This is some of the best value for the money I've ever seen in the seminar, ever. I, I couldn't have done what I'm doing now without hearing what I learned from Ted. It was absolutely excellent. We learned a lot from Ted Thomas. He's not only taught us how to make a lot of money easily, but also how to keep it. Probably one of the best, if not the best, seminars that I've, uh, that I've attended. This course is awesome. It's awesome. The knowledge, the information, the know-how. You already can get started. 
tomorrow. Folks, it's just going to get better and better as we go. But let's uh, let's take a step back and and let's all think together. Well, what would would you trust a stranger with the keys to your house? Well, probably not. Well, what about the keys to your car? Well, same kind of thing. You probably wouldn't trust them with that. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about, about myself, and so you know who I am, and you have a little bit of background. Now, this is all about you tonight, not about me. So just give me one minute, and you'll know who I am. Dave's giving you a nice background on who I am. But I started in the United States Army as an air traffic controller. Now, that was a lot of fun. And when I finished that, I graduated, and I went to the, I went to the airlines to work, and I flew as an airline pilot for Aloha Airlines in Honolulu, Hawaii. And you know, when I found out how lucrative it was to be in business, I didn't know how many hours you had to work. I just knew it was lucrative. So I headed off and started a business in San Francisco, California. And that was a real estate business, apartments and office buildings. Not, not homes, but apartments and office buildings. And that business grew and grew through the late 70s and into the 80s. But in 1986, we had a huge crash in the real estate market here in the States. And it was the same as we had in 2008. And it was caused by the same reasons. When sure enough, the market collapsed and the whole thing imploded and fell all apart. And so here we had over $200 million worth of real estate and it crashed down and many of those properties were worth less than 60 or even 70% on the dollar. So that put us in a foreclosure situation and you know I lost all that and ended up with a bankruptcy. Well that was a heck of a lesson from a huge company with 200 employees and $2 million worth, $200 million worth of real estate. Well I learned a lot about the foreclosure business over the next few years and so I started writing and I, my first book went, went in the bookstore and stayed there for 12 years, that book you see there. And that made me somewhat famous in the foreclosure arena. And of course, then people started calling me and saying, well, you can come and be interviewed on television and radio and things like that. And so that started me off on, on a quest to search for a lot of businesses that were unusual where people could make a lot of money. And so I'm going to take you on that journey today. And I'm going to give you a little agenda of what we're going to cover. So I'm sure you want this webinar to be very valuable to you. So this webinar, I think, would be very valuable if I could show you how to make predictable, certain, and secure money. Now, when I talk about predictable, certain, certain, and secure, I know everyone wants more security in your life, so I'm going to show you how to have more security with this investment, and no speculation is going to take place with me. Now, I'm going to show you how to make 16, 18, 24, and all the way up to 36% interest, and your check's going to come from the government. Now, just let me pause there for a second, make our first lesson for the night. The lesson is this. All the investments I'll talk about, you'll invest with the government, and you'll get a check back from the government. Now, put that in the back of your, your notes, in the back of your mind, and we'll come back, and I'll cover that again and again before we finish. Then we're going to move on to showing you how to do this in every state and every county. Now, of course, you call it a province, and you call it a municipality. We call a state and a county. But this is available in all 3,200 counties and all across the United States. Okay, and then I'm going to show you how to do this so that you can get real estate free and clear of a mortgage. Now, I say free and clear. That means exactly that. It means it's going to be mortgage-free. So that's kind of a, that's a little sh a short part of the agenda. I'm going to go into detail on that now, and you're going to start to, to get the idea of how exciting this is. So I'm going to make you a big, big promise. And these are all the things I'll cover, and you can, you can just write them down as we go. But this is a huge opportunity. There's over 3,000 tax auctions are going to take place this year. Between 2 million, I said 3,000, that was a big mistake of mine. Between 2.5 million and 3 million will take place in the States this year. 2.5 to the, so I'm going to teach you four strategies. And the first one will be is to show you how to make predictable, certain, and secure money. And I know a lot of people want that because they don't want to worry about their money in the future. So I'm going to show those people that are very security conscious how to do that. And after that, I'll show you different states. We have, some states will make, you'll be able to make 16%. Like here in Florida, we pay 18%. If we go to Illinois, it's going to be 36, and I'll show you all that step-by-step -step process too. Now, some of you would like to end up with owning the property, and that, they have many, many tax auctions where you can buy the property for just the back taxes. Now, think about what I said. Buy a property for just the back taxes, and it won't have any mortgage on it. And then finally, I'm going to show you how to get these properties that are 5 and 10 cents on the dollar. And we'll go through this as a step-by-step -step process. Now, there's going to be a lot more that I'll put in between there, but that's sort of my agenda, sort of the big picture of what we're going to cover. All right, so let's put this in a picture form so it's very easy for you to understand and you don't miss anything. Now, I wrote questions there on that particular screen, so know that you can go in the chat box and ask questions just about what I'm talking about. And, there, and there's someone here, Kim, my assistant, is here to my right, and uh, she'll answer questions in the chat box. And, and my associate, Terry, is, is on the other side of the state of Florida. He's over on the Gulf side, and he'll be answering questions. So the two of them are here to help along. But just stay with the program because I'm going to cover a lot of material. As I say, there's three hours of material, and I'll cover it in about an hour and 33 minutes. Okay, so here's how it works. First lesson is 
you invest with the government and you'll get a check back with the government. Now don't worry that you're a few hundred or even a thousand miles away, that's not going to matter. We're going to teach you how to do this on the internet. Now, I teach the same class that you're attending now in the UK and I also do it in Australia. So those people come here and do the same things that you want to do. You're just right here close by. So you really have a you have a competitive advantage over those people from, from outside outside the US that are in Europe and, and over in, in uh, Australia. Okay, so it works like this. You invest with the government, you're going to get a check back from the government. So number one is, is that's you, and you're going to write a check, and you're going to give it to the government. And when you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to pay someone's taxes. Now, there's going to be somewhere between 2.5 million and 3 million homeowners in the states that will not pay their property tax. So you're going to pay someone's property tax, and when that happens, they're going to give you a certificate for doing that. And that's called a tax certificate. So all you need to remember right now is you invest with the government, and you're going to get a check back from there government. Now, your money is protected by the government. Nobody can touch that money. You can't lose it, and it's always going to be secured by the property you see there. Not to worry. I'll come back and cover that again and again. Uh, my first 10 or 20 slides are just going to be about concepts. Okay. Now, the rates of return are guaranteed. Now, these are rock-solid rates of return. If you buy a certificate and it says 18% on it, that's what, you, that's what you'll get. You'll earn 18%. If you buy one that says 36, well, you'll get 36. So this is a guaranteed rate of return. That's not going to change. Now, I know a lot, excuse me, a lot of people on the call are Internet people. And so while we're talking right now, what's happening is your email box is filling up with get-rich-quick offers. And how do I know that? Because mine fills up with them too. Okay, now I have, I've made the mistake a few times in getting involved in those things, but I learned the hard way. So no more get-rich-quick magic pills. I'm going to teach you a strategy that's worked for well over 100 years. So everything I'll teach you tonight is well over 100 years old. So my strategy is I only want to be involved in investments. And tax certificates are investments. So no more magic pills. I don't want to get involved in any of those things. I just want to have, I just want to have investments that are always going to work. Now, with this investment, if you get involved in tax lien certificates, there's a 97% assurance, and I'll demonstrate this to you, 97% assurance that you will get paid and get all your money back. So you get all your money back and that high interest rate. 97% assurance of that. Now, the reason it's not 100% is because of some of those people actually won't pay you. And if they don't pay you, then you're going to get the property. So there's two rules, and if you get the two rules right now, it's going to be the easiest class you've ever been to, and you're going to say, oh, I wish I'd learned this five years ago. Okay, rule number one, we're going to invest with the government. That means we'll get a check back from the government. But wait, Ted, what if we don't get a check back from the government? Well, then that means that the property owner didn't pay, and if they don't pay the taxes, and you own the tax certificate, you're going to get the property. Rule one, you give your money to the government. Rule two, if you don't get paid, you get the property. Now, it's as simple as that, and when you get the property, it will not have a mortgage on it. Okay, so let's learn this and learn the step-by-step -step process. You have a 97% assurance you're going to get paid. Could you do that in the stock market? No. Could you do that in the real estate market? No. Could you do that in any market? No. In this market, 97% assurance you're going to get made. As a matter of fact, this is a market that always goes up. Now, how could I say that? This market always goes up because, you see, if you buy tax certificates, that certificate is going to pay you whatever it says on the certificate, and it's going to go up every single year. You're going to add that to your portfolio every single year. Okay, so let's walk through this process. I'll take you through it, and I just want you to start opening up your mind. You're going to let this new information fall in, and this is going to give you a genuine return on investment. It's guaranteed by the government, not guaranteed by Ted Thomas, not guaranteed by the stock exchange, not guaranteed by insurance guaranteed by the government that you buy this from. They're going to guarantee that you get your money back, and your money is protected by the property tax code. Now, everything I'm telling you is in the rules for the, each one of the states that does this, and all the states sell tax liens or tax deeds. So you're going to see that you're going to be able to do this. So what I want you to do is just de let, your, let your mind open up. We're going to let all this new information fall in, and you're going to be surprised what you know when you finish this. You're going to say, this is where I want to be, and this is a exciting investment where you can make yourself a lot of money. As a matter of fact, if you decide to make some nice trips, uh, you can come out of Edmonton or Calgary or one of those places and head down to Phoenix, Arizona and get me there in a couple of hours. You can be in the sun, in the great sun and uh, make yourself a lot of money, especially in, in February when they have those big auctions in, uh, all throughout the state of Arizona. And they do them here in Florida too. And I'll tell you all the different states as we go. Okay, so we've got our mind opened up and we learned we invest with the government. So there's our man investing with the government. And we know he's going to get a check back from the government. If he doesn't get if he doesn't get a check back from the government, well, what does he get? Well, he gets that property, as you can see there. So how bad a deal could that be? Well, no, sir, that's a great deal. So the rest of our talk is going to be about government, 
government tax lien certificates. You see, this is a government monopoly. It's a monopoly that every single state, every single county has, and once you learn how to take advantage of it, you're going to be able to make yourself a lot of money. But the beauty of the whole investment and the part I like about it the best is we're going to be talking about the safest and the most lucrative investment in North America today. Safest and most lucrative investment in North America. You're learning how to do that tonight, and you're going to learn how to lock in, lock in those rates. This doesn't go up and down with the stock market. It doesn't change with the bank rates. You're going to earn 16, 18, 24 up to 36%, and I'm going to cover those things in the next minute or two while we're together. All right, now when you buy a tax certificate, the government, not Ted Thomas, not anybody else, the government puts you in first lien position. Now I know a lot of you are real estate investors, and you say, wait a minute, Ted, first lien is always the mortgage. Well, I'm here to tell you, and if you're a real estate person, you know this, that a, the taxes are always before, they're always before the mortgage. And so if you go and check with a title company or look at your, your t title documents, you always see that the tax is before that. But a lot of people refer to the mortgage on the property as being the first lien. The actual first lien is always the tax certificate. And if you buy one of those, the government, not Ted, the government puts you in first lien position and they make the mortgage second lien position. Now, folks, I didn't make that rule. That rule is the law in every state, in every single state. The tax collector does that for you. They automatically put you in the first lien position, and you don't have to do anything. All you do is go to the auction, visualize yourself walking in a room. There's thousands of these certificates. I'll show you those in a minute. And sure enough, you raise your hand, you buy that certificate, they're going to give you a piece of paper. It's like one of those 8.5 uh, uh, by 11 pieces of paper that comes out of your printer from your computer. You just take that home and put it on your desk. Now, how hard could that be? Go and raise your hand, buy the certificate, take it home, put it on your desk. Now, it's a passive investment. Why don't you write that down? passive because there's no work to do. You just now wait. And I'm going to show you this step by step in just a minute. I promised I'd show you I had an agenda and I'll, I'll go through that. All right, well, let's look at the rates and let's kind of travel around, at least in our mind, and you can kind of travel around with me and we'll look at the rates in some of these different, uh, different communities. Now, I can't cover every state and every county, but let's just get a general idea here. And not to worry, we have directories and guides and everything that'll show you how to do all of this, but let's look at the different states. So let's say we bought a certificate today. Let's go to Arizona. Let's start there in Arizona. You bought the certificate today. Remember, it's just a piece of paper. You're going to take that home. You bought it. You raised your hand. You bought the certificate. In Arizona, the, the rate is 16%. So that means you took this certificate home. Now you just wait. There's no work to do. So if the, people, if the people don't pay all year and they don't pay you until this day next year, well, then they owe you whatever you paid. So you get back your original money. They owe you whatever you paid plus 16%. So that's quite a rate of return when the bank's only paying 1% or 2%. So let's look, at that. let's look at Illinois. Now, in Illinois, if you bought a certificate today, that would start the clock ticking, and it would go tick, 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 tick. When, it got to, when, it, when the clock reached eight, 180 days or six months, then that person that hadn't paid you would now owe you 18%. In the, in the state of Illinois, they pay you 3% a month. And 3% a month in the first six months, you're in 18%. Now, what if they don't pay you that day? Well, maybe it goes another six months. If it goes another, you make another 18%. So now you're starting to see... 36% annualized rate of return. Now, a place like Chicago, Cook County, Chicago, the sale there can last as many as 35 days because they'll have 50, 75,000 certificates available to pay. All right, so just keep your mind open. We're going to go to another state. This is my favorite. I love Georgia. I live in Florida. Now, I'm speaking today from a little island just off the east coast of Florida. It's called Merritt Island. And so I go off the island, I go over onto Interstate 95, and I head up 95 until I get to Georgia. Now, Georgia has 159 counties. Now, you call those municipalities, we call them a county. But all of those counties will sell, will sell a certificate. And so I raise my hand and I buy a certificate. Now, that certificate, at any time that people come in and pay, now visualize this, they can buy the certificate today, but you know they can come in and pay taxes any days. So let's say 30 days from now they come in and pay. If they come in and pay their taxes, you get all your money back that day plus 20%. How about that, 20%? And you just did that in 30 days. Now, if they come in in 150 days, you get 20%. They come in in 359 days, you get 20%. They come in in one day, you get 20%. So you're going to make a minimum of 20% in the state of Georgia. Now, I'm going to come back to it, and you'll see why it's my favorite state. But those are just some pretty powerful rates of return. All right, let's go back to the middle part of the country, and let's look at Iowa, okay? All right, now, in, in Iowa, if you buy a certificate today, that certificate pays 2% for every month that it's unpaid. So if they... If you went in it, raised your hand, bought the certificate, took it home, uh, this month it'll make 2%, next month it'll make 2%, until they come in and pay, it makes 2% a month. 
So at the end of the year, you make 24% of your money. Now, where are you going to make these kinds of returns? It's impossible. I mean, these, these are returns, uh, uh, they aren't available. Now, I'm teaching a little later, we'll even learn how to do this on the Internet. Oh, that'd be, that'd be even better, right? So you could sit at home and do these scenarios. All right, let's just do one more state. Now, everybody loves, loves this state, okay? Everybody loves the state of Texas. And here's how it works in Texas. Now, in Texas, there are 250 counties. Remember, you call them municipalities. 250 counties, and they have an auction every month. So that means there's 250 auctions every month. You don't have enough life left just to go to all these auctions. There's so many. Okay, so 250 auctions. And in Texas, if you buy a certificate today, they have to pay it off completely. In other words, they have to come in and buy back the certificate from you within six months. So if you buy a certificate today and the people come in and pay you tomorrow, they're going to have to pay you whatever you paid for the certificate. And remember, what you did is you paid their taxes. You're going to get back. Whatever you paid for the certificate, and 20, you're going to get 25%. So let me repeat that. So if you bought a certificate today and it stayed outstanding 10 days, you get back all your money plus 25%. If it stayed outstanding 170 days, you get all your money plus 25%. Now, if it goes to 180 days, well, you're still going to get all your money plus 25%. But if it goes to the 181st day and they haven't paid you, well, that certificate that you bought, now it becomes a deed absolute and you own the property. And you're going to see some investors from right there from Edmonton, as a matter of fact. You're going to see Edmonton investors that have actually done that. I showed 19-year-old kids showed them how to do it. Anyway, so you kind of get the idea. This is starting to look like a pretty powerful investment, isn't it? All right, so let's look at that visually again here in a second. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot. Look at Georgia. Georgia, in the first year, you earn 20%. Now, I tell all my students, and I'm telling you, don't foreclose on the property. After one year, you can foreclose and take the property. Perfectly legal. We'll show you how to do it if you want to. Okay, but I tell my students, don't take the property. Let the certificate roll into the next year. Because if it rolls into the second year, uh, people in Georgia have to now pay you not 20%, they've got to pay you 30%. If it goes in the year after that, it's 40%. The year after that, it's 50%. Now, folks, I didn't make the rules. I'm here bringing you the message. If you just park yourself in Georgia, you can do this. Every single month, they have, a, they have 140, 149 options a month in Georgia. So you can be there. There's, there's, there's more than you're ever going to be able to go to. All right, so let's look at this whole thing visually again. So what you do is you're the individual, and you find this property that the people didn't pay the taxes on, okay? So here's a property, and the taxes are due 1%. Now, sometimes the tax can be all the way up to 2%. But all right, so let's say the tax is 1%. So that, that uh, property owner owes the local government $2,500. Now, if the local government doesn't get any money, they're going to be, in, a, they're gonna be uh, in, in trouble, and I'm going to explain that in a second. All right, so now the local government didn't get their money. So what they're going to do is you see the certificate over on the right side of the screen. They're going to sell the certificate for $2,500, and you can buy it. And all you do is you buy the certificate, you give them the money. Now they're happy because now they can pay their bills. And so you're just going to hold that certificate. And that same system works in every state, same system in every state. Okay, so you're kind of getting the idea. If you're wondering who's been doing this, I'm going to tell you who's been doing it. The rich people have been doing it for decades, but they're not going to tell you about it. And you're going to find out a lot of people won't tell you about it. And the ones that do talk about it, 90% 90, 90 of the time, they don't know what they're talking about. They're giving you all kinds of numbers, not, oh, this doesn't work, that doesn't work. I'm here to tell you, I've been doing this for 20 years. I've taught thousands. I'm saying, well, I should say tens of thousands of people how to do this. So rich people are doing it a long, long time. Here's the beauty of the investment. The beauty of this investment is this. The government, not Ted Thomas, not some broker, not some institution, the government gives you the right to receive all of your money back plus that high rate of return. I don't give you that right. The government does. All you have to do is buy someone's certificate. You either get paid or you get the property. How good is that? Well, it's real good as you're going to see as we go along here. Now, in the back of your mind, you have to be saying, why on earth is the government selling these certificates? Well, let's look at that. You see, when they sell a certificate, whether it's a municipal level there in Alberta or BC or wherever you're listening, at the municipal level, they have to collect taxes to pay for the police and the fire and the hospitals and the roads and the libraries. Now, if the local government can't collect that money, the government's going to go broke. So what they do is they issue a certificate or they take the property and sell it. It's one or the other. So basically, all I've taught you so far is a proven way for the government to quickly collect their money. And this night, everything I'm teaching you has been in place. This is no get-rich-quick deal. This didn't come out because some Internet guy decided to invent it. This has been around for well over 100 years. Now, this system was created It was created when people couldn't read and write. So if you can read and write, you can do what we're talking about today. So what I've shown you so far is a proven way for the government to get their money. And I hope, you are, I hope you're really enjoying it and learning the step-by-step process. Okay, so the tax collector, that's the powerful guy. They're allowed to pay you all the way up to 36% interest. Now, think about that, 36%. 
So it's just going to depend upon the state. Every state has their own rules, and not to worry, we've got it all separated state by state. So whichever one you want to go to, or, or multiples of them, we'll, we'll show you how to do that. Now, why haven't you heard about this? Well, you know the brokers don't talk about it very much. Now, brokers in the real estate market, they like to sell real estate, of course. We understand that. But, you know, there's also brokers in the stock markets and the bond markets and so on, and they like to sell you a, a penny stock or a high-tech stock, or like the real estate brokers, they're doing that because they earn commissions. You see, there's no commissions in tax certificates, so no one's going to tell you about it. That's it. They're not going to tell you about it. That's why you don't hear about it. Now, what about your attorney? Well, the attorney should know about it, but they don't talk about it. They don't tell me about it. How about financial planners? They don't talk about it either. And it's for the same reason, because there's no commission. They can't get paid for doing this. Uh, I don't get paid for doing it. I'm an educator and just going to teach you how to do it. And once you learn how to do it, then you're going to go out and do it. But the government doesn't pay any commissions on these certificates. But let me tell you who the biggest investor is. And this won't shock you, but it might get uh, some people a little irritated when they find out. The bankers, the bankers are the biggest investors in tax certificates. Now, if you're sitting down, which I hope you are right now, I want you to just put your palms up, uh, left and right hand palm up, okay? In your right palm, I'm going to put $10,000. And let's say that's your savings account. Now, your savings account is at the bank, and the bank's paying a nice solid 1% or 2% right now. Now, once, the, once you put the money in the bank, it's guaranteed. They're guaranteeing a nice solid interest rate. Well, when they give you that guarantee, they can do anything they want with your money. That means they could go out and lend it on cars, they could lend it on houses, they could lend it on, on credit cards, whatever they want. What if the bank takes your money, now they're giving you a nice guarantee of, let's say, 2%. What if the bank takes your money and goes over to Texas and buys those certificates that earn 25%? So the bank earns 25% and you get 2%. Now, who do you think keeps the difference? Yeah, you know the answer to that. The bank's going to keep the difference. That's right. The bank is going to keep the difference. So if the bankers are doing it, you should be saying to yourself, well, folks, if the banks are doing it, shouldn't you be doing it? So you need to start thinking that way. All right, Ted, now travel. Ted, yes, yes, Ted, go ahead. Sorry, um, I get a lot That's of people right. that ask me, uh, do they have to pay taxes on these high profits? Listen, if you, uh, if you live in North America, no matter what community you live in, you have to pay taxes. However, if you have in Canada, for all our Canadian friends, if you have an RSP, you're not going to have to do that. But here in the States, we call it an IRA. So a little later on, I'm going to show you how you can have an IRA in the States perfectly legal. I bring people from the UK, I bring them from Australia, I bring them from South America. All of you can do that. But you have to pay taxes unless you get money in one of those retirement programs, which I'm going to call an IRA. Now, I know you guys call it an RSP, but uh, you're going to want to do that in your IRA here in the States, and it, it only costs you a few hundred bucks to get one of those. And I'll go into that and go into it in detail. All right, so now let's take a look at this slide. Now, I've traveled all over the all over the North America, and what do I find out? I find out by talking to treasurers, tax collectors, uh, tax commissioners. I ask them this question. I say, look, if I send my friends and all my clients in to buy these certificates, are they going to get their money back? And here's what they tell me. You might want to make a note of this. They tell me that 95 to 97% of you that buy these certificates are going to have all your money back in 24 months. Okay, so let's do that again. So you're going to invest 95 to 97% of you are going to have all your money back in 24 months. And so the kind of the question is, well, wait a minute, Ted. You said this is real safe and secure. What about the 3%? Well, folks, if you're part of the 3%, it's going to be like winning the lottery. Because if you don't get paid, you get the property. So about 3 maybe as many as 5%, depending upon where you are, are going to end up with the property. And you remember, when you get the property, there's no mortgage on it. Well, you know that's kind of shocking, but it's the law, and that's the way it works, folks. And it's the law in every state and every county. So you can see that slide that's in front of you now. It's black and white. Well, the law is black and white. And the law says right in the middle of the slide, you can write it down on your paper, you get paid or you get the property. Now, folks, I don't make the rules. I'm bringing you the message. You need to learn, and I'm going to teach you how to take advantage of this. Everything that I'll talk about from here on will be predictable. It will be certain and it will be secure. And that's the kind of investment you want. There is, there is no magic pill in this business. This is one, once you learn how to do it, you can do it for the rest of your life. Let me say that again. You can do this for the rest of your life. Now, I, I have a, a best-selling author by the name of Robert Sheeman that, that uh, it did some investigation for us. You know, people are surprised to hear all this, but I help a lot of attorneys. Robert's an attorney. I thought you'd like to hear what he had to say about this. Absolutely legal, and he is absolutely correct. And it's kind of uh, funny because a lot of attorneys and real estate experts around the world go to Ted Thomas to ask him questions and to verify what's going on in the tax lien world because he is known as probably the number one expert in the world on tax lien. So it's an honor 
uh, to be here uh, answering questions about Ted's program. Yeah, now this guy's a best, best-selling best author, five-time best-selling author. All right, now let me give you some examples, and if you want to make notes, it's a good time to do it, because I'm going to tell you about my friend Dave, and you can see he's pretty laid back, right? So he lives over in Arizona, and he called me up, and he said, Ted, you know, I put uh, I just put 2000 bucks in the bank, and I said, wow, good for you. Why'd you do that? He said, well, Ted, I'm 35, and I want to retire when I'm 55. I said, okay, I understand. I said, well, what are you going to do? He said, well, I put $2,000 in the bank, and I'm just going to leave it there until I'm 55. And I said, well, okay. I said, uh, how much uh, interest rate are you earning? He said, I'm getting 3.75. I said, no way. The bank's only paying one or two. He said, no, I got a special deal at the bank. I'm getting 3.75. I said, okay, so uh, what's the deal? He said, I'm just going to leave it there for the, for the 20 years. I said, well, what on earth would $2,000 be worth 20 years from now? He said, well, I don't know. And I, and I said, well, wait a minute. I thought you said this was your retirement. Don't you want to know how much you're going to have in retirement? He said, no, I do. Uh, yes, no, he didn't know what he wanted. I said, well, okay, let's do it in the calculator. So we put into the calculator $2,000 investment. Okay, that's what we put in, and it was 3.75, so we figured out the interest in one year. And then what we did is we just rolled it over for 20 years. Now, folks, how would you like to see what $2,000 is going to be worth 20 years from now? Well, I'm going to show you. Get ready. Get ready. You're going to be shocked. It's going to be worth a whopping $4,129. Now, what kind of retirement plan is that? I don't think that's a very good one. Matter of fact, the way the uh, pe petrol prices and gasoline prices are, that's probably about two tanks of gas 20 years from now. So I said, Dave, hold on a second. You're going to have to do better than that. He said, yeah, I think so. He, he said, what should I do? I said, well, you should do what I've been telling you for the past five years. I said, why don't you go down and buy some of those Arizona certificates that pay 16%? He said, well, if I, make, if I put my $2,000 into 16%, What's that going to be worth? So I put in the calculator, 16%, $2,000, rent it out for 20 years. Now, folks, take a look at this. You see, the way he was doing, he's going to make $4,100. If you just bought tax certificates in Arizona, you'd have $30,000. Now, the choice is yours. You're going to have to make up your mind. You're the one that's going to have to do this. I can teach you how, but $30,000 looks a lot better than $4,100. Now, I know what everyone's afraid of. They'll say, oh, Chad, you know, I've made these kind of investments. I bought these courses on the Internet and all that, and I had my heart broken because it didn't work. Well, folks, let me tell you, this program will not let you down. Let me say that again. It will not let you down. Let me give you one more example. I said, Dave, let's go for the big time. He said, what do you mean? He said, I want you to, I want you to buy some, I want you to buy some certificates in Iowa. He said, really? He said, how much does Iowa pay? I said, it pays 24%. Okay, so we're going to do it. So we're going to put in the calculator. He's got $2,000 to invest, and he's going to earn 24%. And he's just going to roll it over. He's just going to keep reinvesting it for 20 years. He said, how much would that be? I said, well, get ready. I hope you're sitting down. And he was. Well, folks, that $2,000 investment earning 24% every year and accumulating after 20 years is worth a whopping $120,000. $120,000. So the choice is yours. This is a good way to make money. It's been around for 100 years. Anyone that, anyone that wants to learn how they can do it, I can show you how to start for 50 bucks if you want to do it. So investments could break your heart, and a lot of people have, Got in the stock market, and they said, oh, gee, you know, and the market is really, um, I'm not negative on the stock market at all, but, you know, you really have to know what you're doing. When it goes up, 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 you love it, but when it comes down, look at these guys there. They've got a little grief on there, a little grief. So, so investments could break your heart, but we want to make sure that that doesn't happen. But, you know, uh, I'm a real estate guy, and I've got to admit, I've been around real estate for 40 years, and I've never seen a recession that is as deep as this one in real estate. Now, I happen to live in Florida, and Florida is one of the, the worst cases, but Arizona, Nevada, California, uh, the Carolinas, and uh, along the East Coast, it's, it's pretty bad. And so I'll just show, I'll give you an example, a little graph uh, that you can see what happened to my house over the last five years. And look at that, 30 to 50% drop. You get all the houses in my neighborhood, you can buy them for 50% discounts right now. So the real estate's been a kind of a tough thing. So why don't I show you guys how to make money, how to make money in a passive way where we can help your dreams come true, and we're going to do it passively so you can do it with your computer, okay? So we're going to continue now, and I'm going to talk back, I'm going to be back talking about tax lien certificates, and we're going to show you how to do, we're going to show you how to do passive investments so that you can make yourself some real money. Now, the young lady that you're going to see now, her name is Peggy. Okay? Now, she lives in the Carolinas, so I'm going to use a lot of different states so you kind of get an idea that if you, you get the idea that this works every way, which it does. Okay, and she said to me, she said, Ted, I love this program. But she said, you know, I live in Carolina. And I said, well, that's okay. And she said, well, in Carolina, if I go by ask about a tax certificate, they won't sell one. I said, well, no, they won't because in Carolina, they actually sell the property. So if people don't pay the tax in Carolina, they actually auction the property for the back taxes and the mortgage is wiped out. Now, she, 
she didn't want to go buy those properties. Now, a lot of real estate guys would say, wow, I can get those properties for back taxes with no mortgage. But she didn't want that. She said, look, I'm a, I'm a passive investor. She, as a matter of fact, she's an attorney. And she didn't, want to, she didn't want to do that. I said, well, why don't I teach you how to do it on the Internet? And then you can stay home, use your laptop right there from your kitchen table, and why don't you buy tax certificates in Florida? She said, oh, can I do that? All right, and I put the, the four-step strategy there for you. First thing she does, she finds a county in Florida. Then she's going to do a little research on the computer, and then she's going to bid, and she's going to do all that online. Now, we have, we have materials so that show you how Ted, to do all that. Yes. Ted, yes. excuse me. Um, Go I've got an email here, and it says that okay. um, if a person invested $10,000 in tax lien certificates and then renewed them each year at a rate of 18%, how much would they have? Oh, gee. Um, let's think about that. Um, they renewed at 18. Well, here's what I do know. I mean, I'm not great, that great at math, but uh, here's what I know. At 18% interest, um, you'll double your money every four years if it compounds. So if they bought certificates at 18% and they did it for you and they, and they paid the, the certificate paid for it, they'd come real close to doubling their money if it's compounding. So that'll give you some idea. So if they had 10,000 in, they're going to come out with about 20,000. So th those are approximate. That's I don't have the math in the top of my head. So um, tell the person I wasn't a mathematician, but they're going to come real close to doubling their money. So that's a pretty okay. good deal, don't you think? Yes, I do. Thanks, Ted. Yeah. Okay, so here's Peggy, and let's see how she did. Uh, she got involved in this, and uh, she did it with her computer, and she did it from home. And let's see what she has to say. She's going to tell us uh, what happened. I've chosen this as my retirement investment venue. I'm tired of watching stock portfolios and mutual funds go up and down and up and down. So I got online and looked in a lot of different counties to see who paid the highest interest rate, who had the easiest system to actually buy certificates. So I've found this amazing vehicle through Ted's system that where you can buy something that's very high return, 18% in my case, and higher, 36% in some cases. The first tax liens I bought, I bought three of them for $2,273. I wanted to try it to see if it was something that was safe and would pay off. I got those certificates in the mail, put them in my drawer, and waited. Next thing I know, months later, I got a check in the mail for $3,159. That was an 18% annual return on my money. It's an amazing world that's opened up to me with this system. And the main thing is I've taken control of it and I found something very safe with a high return. And I'm going to have enough money for retirement now. I feel confident about that. Yeah, wouldn't that be a nice feeling? Now, some of you like to use the chat box, so go ahead and type me a little note in the chat box and tell me what you think of that, be, being able to make 18%. She stayed home. She did that from her kitchen table. That's pretty good. All right, so I have many examples like this. I want to show you Marilyn, and she's a, a typical of that. She was a stock market investor, and she was struggling through. So let's look at the strategy. She used a, almost an identical strategy in a different state and at a different time. And she wanted to do this as an investment program, I mean a serious investment program, whereas Peggy, she was just getting started. Here's Marilyn. She's going to, well, you listen, I'm not going to give it away. She's going to tell you how many of these certificates you buy. So remember that the, the process works like this, and we'll teach you how to do it online, okay? So you find a county that sells online, then you do some quick property research. I mean, you don't want to buy, if you're in Florida, you don't want to buy properties that are underwater or anything like that. And so you want to you do a little bit of research, and then you want to decide uh, what you're willing to bid for the certificate and so on. And, uh, and then you want to end up with those, those checks. So let's see what Marilyn has to say. And you'll notice that she's a serious investor. She's not going to just do one or two. She's really going to get into this. Stocks um, are volatile. I've lost money in before. With Ted's program, it's an online program. You buy everything online. Uh, I got 48, averaging 8 9%. Some of them are earning 18%. It's an awesome program. It's a safe, secure way to earn a whole lot better interest rates than the banks are giving you at a half or a 1%. The little guy can do it. You can have a couple of thousand dollars and invest. Um, most, of them, most of the liens that I purchased were a couple hundred dollars, under a thousand dollars. So it's, it's a secure program. I wish I had known this years ago. Okay, now you, all of you people out there that are looking for a safe, secure investment, you now understand that's exactly what these tax lien certificates are. Now, I notice the chat box is pretty busy, and that's good, but uh, pay close attention to what I'm going to talk about so that you don't miss anything. It's okay if you write your questions down and uh, keep them, because I will stay on, the, on after, a little bit after to make sure I answer questions. I don't want anybody to leave the call uh, when we finish and not have the question. But we've got lots more to cover. Okay, so we've learned a couple of those strategies. Now, here's a gal that lives in California. Now, she... Uh, 
she decided that she wanted to go to Michigan and buy it. This is very typical. People want to go to different states and so on. Now, I said, oh, stay right there in California and do it. But, you know, she got kind of excited because at that time when she was buying, the certificates in Michigan, and listen real close to what I'm going to say, a certificate in Michigan paid 15% in the first year, but if the property owner did not pay, then it paid 5-0% in the second year. So off to Michigan she went. As a matter of fact, she went on a, on a, on a plane, and when she got there, they had lost her baggage. That was kind of a tough nut. And so she got a hotel, and then she, the next day she went down, and she uh, went to get her bags, and she did. And, boy, she was hard luck, uh, hard luck uh, <laughs> Hannah, I was going to say. But, you know, she really – she – she, she went back to her car when she got her, uh, her luggage and someone had stolen her car. Well, she didn't care about the car, but her briefcase was in the back with the cashier's checks. So she had a choice. She could, she could say, forget the whole thing. Uh, well, first the good news, she called the bank and they canceled the cashier's check. So whoever had the car, they weren't going to do, do very well on that. But she decided she got in the plane, she flew all the way back to California, and got her money, and then headed, headed back. Now, when she got uh, on the way back, there's a lot of weather, and she missed a connecting flight. So she got mad about the whole thing, and she jumped in her car, and she drove to the auction. So let, let me show you what happened to her at the auction. I mean, she really did well, and people do this all the time. And, she's, uh, and, and you can see the step-by-step -step process. I've list, listed it for you, so if you want to write those down, and she's, she's going to end up with a huge reward here. Anyway, she went to the auction, and her first certificate that she'd been on was this one. You can see the certificate. That's a State of Michigan Tax Deed Department of Treasury. And she paid less than five cents on the dollar for, the, for this for this tax certificate, okay? Now, she bought the certificate, and we all learned, because we've been together now, we learned this, that if the people don't pay, what do you get? Well, you learned that. You learned that if they don't pay that certificate, she's going to end up with the property. Well, guess what? They did not pay for that, and here's what she got. There it is. Now, I put that picture in with a little snow, because I know you folks are going to have some snow here in another month or so, and I want you to feel comfortable and let you know that we get snow, too. So, so sure enough, there's the property she got for 422 bucks. Is there anybody that wouldn't want that property for 422 The driveway's worth that much. And there's the property she bought. So what is she going to do? Well, we only do one thing. We don't rent them. We don't fix them. We, do all we just get them sold. So she hired a broker, like I told you. She sold it, and there's what she got. Now, here's the thing that you should be thinking of right now. If you invested this and you earned that, how long does it take you to earn that kind of money? I mean, how many deals like this would you have to do to feel real good about what you did? I mean, you wouldn't you, one deal like that, and you'd be you'd be you'd be ecstatic. And there's there's going to be two and a half to three million tax auctions this year. And I thought you'd like to meet her, so I brought her along. And sure enough, there's a check she got, and here's Janice. So now, when you sold it, how much did you sell it for? Sixty-five thousand dollars. Sixty-five thousand dollars. That's right. Really? That's right. Now, I did. did you get a check or something like that? Here it is, right here. Wow, look at that. $65,000. Right. $64,928.08. Right. That's right. Now, what happened to your life when that came? Oh, it's wonderful. Um, I had been working as a court reporter for huh? 20 years, and it meant I could retire, and now I live a less, less life, and... Things are looking up, and it's just it's wonderful. It's, it's yeah. just absolutely wonderful. Wow. Yeah. But things change a lot just because of tax lien fees. It's wonderful. Yeah. It's just wonderful. Yeah. What would you tell a person that uh, was interested in just learning about this? Because, you know, I'm in the business of Fine. teaching people how to do it. I'm kind of a yeah. television educator or something like that. What would you tell people to do? Okay. I, I can understand someone being scared, okay? But it is, you're not going to lose your money because you're dealing with a county that by law, if you buy a tax lien, you're going to get your money back. Okay. So you're not gambling like other investments, okay? You are going to get your money back, Good. which is, for me, that was important. Uh, I, I don't have money to, to lose. Nobody does. And who knows? You might win the lottery and get a house. How about that? Win the lottery and get a house. I bet everybody would like to do that. Now, a question you should ask yourself right now is, is this in your best interest? That's what you should ask yourself. If you did this, where would you be five years from now? You wouldn't have to do a lot of these to be pretty darn happy. All right, let me show you another strategy, and this strategy is just go out and find properties that are going to be sold at auction, okay? Now, this is not tax lien certificates. This is tax deeds. Now, this is a step-by-step -step process like the other one, and about half of the states actually sell tax deeds. So if you go to that state, and uh, we have all those listed, so you can, you can choose the ones you want, and you can choose the counties you want. You go to that state, they're going to auction the property, 
and the starting bid will be the tax, the back taxes. Now, let me say that again. The state, if they're not paid, they're going to sell the property for the back taxes. That's all they care about. They don't care about anything else except collecting the back taxes. So they're going to sell that property for the back taxes. So there's the strategy. You find a county, you can do that online. You can actually go there to the auctions. You can bid it uh, for these uh, properties there. Uh, online. I prefer to go to these because I want to look at the properties and drive by them. So that's what I prefer and that's what I teach. But you can do both. So here's Danny. He started out and he said, Ted, I got my first one. I said, great, what does it look like? And he's going to send me a picture of it. So he sent me a picture, so I'll show you that. This is the picture of property he was going to get. This was in Ohio. Now here's how it works in Ohio. Each state's a little bit different, so we have rules that teach you how to do that. It's pretty easy. But in Ohio, if you don't pay the taxes the first year, they send you a little notice and say, hey, you're going to pay your taxes. And then if you don't do that, and then the second year they send you a note and say, look, you've got to pay the first year and a penalty, and now the second year and a penalty. And uh, if you go the third year and you don't pay, what they finally do is they just auction the property off. Now, you might recall earlier, I said in Texas they auctioned it off in six months. So every state's just a little bit different. So Danny um, wanted to go to the auction, so we rehearsed it with him a little bit and got, got a little practice. And he heads down to the auction and come to find out there's only about five people there. Now, sometimes there'll be, sometime there'll be two or three hundred people there. But that doesn't mean they're all bidders. So you walk in the room and say, oh, look at all the bidders. They're not. Only about 5% of the people that ever show up at these auctions are bidders. Everybody's there talking to each other and saying, ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ah. Uh. But you're going to see our students when they're bidding. They'll be in the front. Uh, you know our people are all in the front row bidding. So, so anyway, um, uh, the property's worth 75. He heads down to the auction. Nobody else wants to bid. And so here's what he bought that property for. Wow, look at that. $4,000. Now here's what you've got to think about. How long would it take you to earn the difference between those two numbers? Wow, you wouldn't have to do too many of those deals, would you? Not too many. So I thought you'd like to meet Danny, so here he is. Danny, how many properties do you own now? Mm, I'm holding around 50, 55 properties right in there. I see. And do, do you have mortgages on those properties, or have you paid for those outright? Uh, very few. With buying all the tax sales that I've done since 1990, I bought them for pennies on the dollar, so I really haven't went in and mortgaged them soon. Never have to work again. I wouldn't have to, I guess. You could say I could just stay in the house, but I'm not that type of person. When you know this is out there, you're, you're not going to quit. So you're just as eager now as you well, are. I'm just as motivated good. as ever. Okay, now you're kind of a big guy at doing this, but what about a little guy that wouldn't hit a couple of thousand bucks again? Could you do that? Well, I think you just interviewed Craig, and he yeah. bought one for $17.70. So a $20 bill could get you in this industry. Unbelievable. And it really is, but um, how come nobody does it? No knowledge. Probably don't have your books and tapes. <laughs> no, I was going to say. No, I was going to say. No yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so everybody can do this. You notice that Danny was, uh, yeah, he, he's actually a truck driver. We get all kinds of people who want to do this. So I don't care what your profession is. Keep in mind, this system was created when a lot of people couldn't even read and write. They couldn't even read and write. All right, now we're talking about two kinds of investments. One's a passive investment where you buy a tax certificate, take it home and sit it on your desk. Now what Danny did, that was an active investment. He actually went to the auction. He bought a property. Now, at the end of the day, when that gavel comes down at the auction, they're going to give you a deed. Within a day or two, you get the deed, and then you can do anything you want. You can go live in it. You can sell it. You can rent it. You can fix it up. Whatever you want to do with it, you can do with it. All right, so let me give you a little bit more background on this and give you some more in-depth stuff. Now, I have... Uh, yes, yes, yes. Excuse yes, me. Yes, yes, um, yes. Can you stop here just for a moment? Uh, you know, okay. As you know, most of our viewers tonight are from Canada. Will this work right. for them? Yeah, it worked fine. They can come here and do, uh, they can do every state and every county uh, in, in the states. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you a whole bunch of uh, Canadian examples here in just a minute. Uh, but anybody that's uh, uh, in a foreign country can come and do it because the, what the government really wants is they want the tax money. So when you come here, believe me, they're going to welcome you at these auctions uh, for you to buy either tax lien certificates or tax deeds. So uh, we, have, we have clients from all over the all over. The, all over the world. Doesn't matter where they are. Uh, like I said earlier, we, I can show you people from Sydney, Australia, doing it. People from London, from, from everywhere. So for the people in Canada to do it, it's really a piece of cake. Matter of fact, for them, it's only a couple hours on the jet, and they're and they're doing it. And matter of fact, even that trip is tax deductible because you can deduct the, the trip because you're in a business, and uh, that helps out a lot too. So bring your wife with you because she'll be your secretary on that business trip. So uh, all right, well let's go back and uh, take a look here. Uh, I started out a number of years ago, and when I did start out. Uh, there was no computers, so uh, we had to do this, uh, go vis uh, visit the county records to do it. Uh, now we can teach you how to do that on the computer. There was no books in the bookstore. Now we have whole courses on it, and there was no classes on it. And as a matter of fact, we do the classes uh, all over the United States and Canada, so we teach it in, in uh, not Ottawa. I almost said that, but I, I meant to say Toronto. We do it in Toronto, Edmonton, Calgary, 
and we do it over in uh, Vancouver. So we teach people how to, how to do this so they can come here and do it. But when I started, I, have, I had to do it on the telephone. So I got on the phone, and one of the first places I called was Baltimore, Maryland. And you probably wonder why I called Baltimore. Well, I called there because through the grapevine I had heard, remember I was just getting started years ago, I had heard that in Baltimore you could earn 24% on a certificate. I said, you know, I want to buy some of those certificates where I can make 24%. So I called Baltimore, and sure enough, they said, oh, yeah, we sell tax certificates. I said, well, how much? They said 24% is what they pay. And I asked if I could get a list. And the woman said, oh, she said, I'll just send you a catalog. I said, really, uh, like a Land's End catalog or a Spiegel or something like that? She said, oh, no, it's much bigger than that. And so here, take a look. She sent me a catalog like this. It had 9,000 tax certificates, and that was just one county. That's always one county. And I said, oh, my goodness, I have found the gold mine. And what I'm doing is I'm passing on that information because now you know what the gold mine is. So the next thing I did, and Terry's over there now. Terry lives over in and is talking tonight from his home or his condo over there on the beach in Clearwater. And so I called Tampa, Florida. And I said, look, do you folks sell tax certificates? And they said, sure we do. And I said, well, uh, how much do you pay in Florida? And they said, oh, we pay, we pay 18%. I said, well, great. Can I get a list of those? And the woman said, no, you can't have the list. And I said, why can't I have the list? She said, the list is too big for us to send. I said, well, how am I going to choose the certificate I want to buy? She said, you'll have to call the newspaper. So I called the newspaper. Folks, take a look at this slide. This is what they sent me. There is no pictures and there's no story in this newspaper. It's just 40,000 tax lien certificates, and each one of them starts a bit, starting bid is 18%. Folks, and that's just one county in Florida. This year, there'll be like a million certificates in Florida available, a million <laughs> certificates. So I said, well, I'm going to call some other states. So I called New York, and when I called New York, I said, I'd like to buy some tax lien certificates. And they said, we don't sell tax liens. I said, what happens if people don't pay taxes? They said, well, we auction the property off for back taxes. I said, you just auction it off? They said, yeah, for back taxes. I said, what happens to the mortgage? They said, it's wiped out. So I said, can I get some brochures and watch this? Okay, now take a move up real close to your screen and you'll see there's Montgomery County. You can see the pictures of the property. There's a brochure with pictures in it. And the properties are going to auction for back taxes. You've got 100 properties at that auction. The next one, you can just barely see it. it says 73 and another one with 50, another one with 34. I mean, each one of those is different counties that you can go to and buy the property. Starting bid is the back taxes, and it has no mortgage. Folks, imagine what's going on here. All right, so let me just show you one of the bigger sales in New York. I'm just going to go to that now. Okay, this is a bidder's package, and it's, it's Sullivan County. Now, take a good look at your screen and look at the outline of New York. If you can see that there, it's outlined in, in the gray on the bottom. You can see Sullivan County is just about 100 miles from New York City. And look how many properties within 100 miles of New York City. 468 properties. As a matter of fact, if you look at the at the bidder sheet there, it says it's going to take two days. It couldn't get them all sold. It took two days just to get them sold. And I'm going to introduce you to a, a woman from Quebec City, just north of Montreal. I came down and bought some of those. But I'll introduce you to her in a little bit. So here's the second here's the second day of the auction. 468. All those properties are available mortgage free. Any one of you could be in any part of Canada and come here and buy those, and they would be happy to sell sell them to you. And I'll show you some people that did that in just a few minutes. Well, finally, I said, well, listen, I think I'll call Los Angeles. So I called Los Angeles County, and I said, uh, I want to buy some tax lien certificates. And the guy said, we don't sell tax lien certificates. And I said, well, what do you do if they don't pay taxes? And he said, we auction the property for back taxes. And I want you to visualize. They're talking about Los Angeles, high-priced California properties, and they're going to sell them for the back taxes. So I said to the guy, I said, listen, uh, you're the treasurer? And he said, no, but I'm an assistant treasurer. And I said, well, okay. I said, listen, when you sell that property, what happens to the mortgage? He said, the mortgage is wiped out. I said, you mean I buy a property at auction, there's nobody, there's no mortgage on it? He said, that's absolutely right. I said, well, how can you do that? He said, it's the law in every single state in the United States. So I said, listen, I want to buy some of this property. Can I get a list? The guy said, yeah, send me 12 bucks, and I'll get you the list. I'm going to show you the list right now. Folks, look at that list. There was 3,000 properties at that auction. Three of my students showed up at the auction, and when the auction was all over, there was still 800 properties left over. 800 properties left over, and here you are sitting in Edmonton, Calgary, Vancouver, wherever you are, and you didn't get in on that deal. But you could have got in on it. All right, so let me show you what that book looks like it's on the inside. Now, nobody will show you this, but I will. I'm happy to show you that. This is the inside of the book. Okay, so this is what no one else will tell you. So the inside of the book will show the property number. Okay, so it's an ID number, like we call it. We have like a, a Social Security card number, and that's uh, everybody. So property has a number, so they call that the parcel number. Okay, so the property ID, 
and then there's the taxes that are due, and then you follow that across, and there's the value of the property, so about 1%. All right, now, if you pay that $4,000, and those people don't come in and pay it, what are you going to get? Well, you're not going to get that number up there. You're going to get the $400,000 property is what you're going to get. Now, what if you what if you bid on all of those? Well, the next one was 12000 the next one was 4000 the next one was 5000 So what if you spent 25000 and none of those people paid you? What would you get? You would get those properties. That's absolutely right. Now, here in the States, people ask me all the time. They say, well, Chad, is this as safe as having money in the bank? Well, you know, I don't know if it is. So let's like let's take a let's just kind of take a little sidetrack here and let's go look at money in the bank. Now we have what we call the federal deposit insurance. Now what that means is if you put money in the bank and the bank and they have trouble and they go bankrupt, well you're always going to get your money back. That's right. You get all your money back. So if you had twenty five thousand dollars in the bank and the bank went broke, you get your twenty five thousand back. So that's about as safe as you're going to get. But let's take another look at this tax business again. Let's take another and just do a comparison. Okay, now that's the same chart I showed you before. Same ID numbers, same tax, same values. What if you put $25,000 into those tax certificates and all of those owners defaulted? What would you get? Well, you'd have $25,000 invested, but you'd have $2.5 million worth of properties. Folks, I didn't make the rules. I'm just here teaching you how it works. So you have to make a decision. You have to make it, do you want to learn how to do this? Well, of course you do. Because to see if all those people default, you would end up with two and a half million. Well, why don't you just start out with one? So maybe you started out with one and paid four thousand in taxes, ended up with a four hundred thousand dollars. I don't know which one you're gonna end up with, but you have to decide which one you prefer. Now I know I've been doing this a long time. Everybody doesn't have twenty five thousand. So why don't we teach you how to do this? Why don't we teach you how to do it? Get started for less than five hundred bucks. Less than five hundred bucks. Now what you're gonna see now is one of my students, we're just gonna put a camera over his shoulder and you'll see the actual deed where he buys the property and what he pays for it. So this is a little recording, a little video that we did. You're just going to look over it and you're going to be shocked at what he got. But pay close attention to the numbers. What did he pay and how much acreage did he get? So let's take a look at that. So tell me what we're looking at. Yeah. Okay, great. Here's an example of what I've done recently. Um, this is 20 acres of land. This is in Oklahoma. And you can see right here where I paid. Tell me how much I paid there. Forty-one dollars and twenty cents. Forty-one dollars and twenty cents for twenty acres of land. At time. This is my property, and I've just put it on the market now for a thousand an acre for twenty thousand dollars. Twenty thousand dollars. But you don't have to be some type of a real estate genius or mathematical genius to do this. Not at all. In fact, it's it, uh, you know real estate people uh, just don't really don't understand a lot of how this tax stuff works. You know, you, you hear it and you think, well, it's too good to be true. You know, you're glad to have them think that. Huh? I'm uh, yeah, just keep on and keep it on. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got to show us here, Craig? This is 40 acres of farmland. Wow. Trees, rolling hills. This is how much I pay. How much did I pay for that? Sixty dollars and thirty seven cents. Is that uh, is that incredible? And how aren't you putting that back out? So uh, I'll probably put this one up for a thousand an acre. Um, if you can read, you know you can do this. But this is the kind of guidance and instruction you're getting through Ted Thomas's program. Ted. I tell you, Ted will save people years of stumbling, uh, probably, you know, two years to figure all this stuff out. Folks, if you had done this five years ago, where would you be now? Just think about that. So don't wait another five years before you start. Okay, well, the Federal Trade Commission requires that I give everybody a notice when we talk about making money. So let's just kind of walk through this uh, together because uh, I want to be clear and transparent. But Craig paid $41.20 for 20 acres of land. So that's about $2 an acre. I don't know what acreage sells near you, but $2 an acre sounds like a great deal to me. Uh, on the second one, he bought for $60.37, so that was 40 acres, and that was about $1.50. But the Federal Trade Commission requires that I tell you that you could lose money on this investment or any investment I tell you about. So this is kind of like that. Uh, you see those medical ads on TV, you know, for, for whatever, you know, that you get a headache or your stomach could be upset or you could get dizzy spells or you could have that four-hour problem with Viagra or whatever it might be. But we need to disclose that you could lose money on these investments. So uh, you, need to be, um, you need to be responsible and go out and look at these properties before you do things and not just guess. And that's why we have courses and teach people how to do this. But this is, this is the best investment I've ever seen and probably the best you've ever seen. And probably sounds unbelievable to most of you. But this is the real deal, and it's been going on for a long time. It's just that people don't know how to do it and uh, they get a lot of false information. This is the real deal. So let's continue on and learn some more from here. 
Okay, so let's do a quick comparison of tax lien certificates and money in the bank, okay? So you remember my friend Dave? Dave was going to invest $2,000 in bank CDs at 3.75. Into 20 years, you're going to have $4,100. I said, Dave, why don't we go to Iowa and make an investment there at 24%, roll the money over, roll the money over, and have 120 So you're going to have to make that choice. It's going to be up to you. Another question that comes up all the time, and it's already been in the chat box a bunch of times tonight, but here it is. What happens when the property owner doesn't pay? Folks, if you buy one of these certificates and the property owner doesn't pay, number one, you get the property free and clear of all liens and encumbrances. Number two, they wipe out the mortgage. Who does that? The government does that. And finally, you're going to own real estate for three to ten cents on the dollar. Now, if three to ten cents on the dollar doesn't impress you, I know all of you that are on here have watched all those internet courses where you're going to do short sales and then REOs, real estate owned by the bank, and you're going to do foreclosures. Well, all those properties are sold for 40, 50, 60 cents on the dollar. Here we're talking about getting properties for 3 to 10 cents on the dollar. And I want to show you some examples of that over the next few minutes. And I'm going to show you a lot of examples from your Canadian friends on how they did that. But the point is, if the property owner doesn't pay you, you get paid. This is the safest and it's the most lucrative investment in North America today. So now I'm going to take you to, I'm going to take you to Georgia. I told you earlier, Georgia was my favorite state. And I interviewed my friend uh, Robert. He's here, here on the screen right now. Now, Robert has done over 100 deals. He, was, he started as a student with, of, of mine. He has a full-time job, by the way, and he keeps his full. He's a forester. He travels all over, all over uh, the provinces of Canada and the states, and he measures trees for big companies like Weyerhaeuser and, and whatever. And so this is a lakefront lot in just out, about an hour outside of Georgia. Now, this is the kind of lakefront lot everybody has a dream about putting their cabin on this, you can have a little canoe or a little boat out there, a nice little lake. You're within an hour of the city, but you have all the peace and quiet. And the people didn't pay the tax. This is about a forty, maybe a fifty thousand dollar lot, but the people didn't pay the tax on it. And so he purchased that property for thirty seven hundred dollars at the tax auction. Now I told you it was worth forty or fifty thousand. He didn't even try and sell it for that. He just quickly sold it for twenty four thousand. That's what we do. We buy them right and then we sell the product. So he sold that in a twenty so he sold it for $24,000, so that's a really generous profit on such a small investment. Ted? I don't care who you are. Yes, yes. Ted, yes. are you yes. saying that Bob bought that lakefront property for $3,700 and then he sold it for $24,000? $24,000 is what he sold it. So that's, uh, that's about a 600% that's about a profit. 600%. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Now, he specializes in, he likes to buy he likes to buy land. Most people want to buy houses. I tell people, go buy the land because you can get it for pennies on the dollar. But look at this lot. Any one of us would like to have a, a little cabin or whatever. You can put your tent on there, put your camper, whatever you want to do. But look at that beautiful lake out in the middle of the woods. It's just terrific. But while we were filming this, it just so happened that while we were filming this, I said to him, I said, Robert, is this the best deal you've ever done? And here's his answer, folks. Listen to this. I have to say it's the best dollar-for-dollar uh, dollar deal I've ever done on a piece of land. It happened in Oklahoma. I went out to an outlying county and I bought a tax lien. The tax lien was on a 25 acre piece of land. The tax lien was only $67.12. Uh, you'd think that nobody would ever abandon a piece of land for that small of a tax bill, but things like that do happen. And guess what? Those people never did pay that tax. They never redeemed that tax lien. And I ended up getting the tax deed to that property. I eventually sold that piece of land for $22,500. It's not uncommon to make ten or twenty thousand dollars off of a deal. Okay, well, type in the chat box if you'd like to do a deal like that. Everybody like to do it. Go ahead and type in and say, Ted, I'd like to do just one deal like that. And that was one. That was one hour out of Atlanta, Georgia. I mean, I just uh, I, I, every time I I've been involved in this twenty years, and every time I see these deals, I'm I'm just astonished. Okay, now how about that one in Oklahoma where he where he bought that one for sixty seven dollars? Folks, it just doesn't get any better. Than that. Well, folks, we've figured it out, and so I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process because I know a lot of you are ready for, for some lifestyle changes. And if you don't want to change your lifestyle but you just want to put some kids through school or you want to buy some nice presents for people, well, let's, uh, let's learn a little bit more. So I'm going to take you now to, uh, uh, to a, a young man that I taught. Uh, that he went to my class in, in Edmonton just a few years ago, and uh, let's see how he did. I first heard about Ted's system from a good friend of mine. He called me while he was at work and told me about it, and I was skeptical, but I was pretty anxious to find something that I could go do to finally make some money. I was a high school dropout. I was 19 years old. I didn't have any other plans with my life, 
So I thought, what the heck, let's go check it out. And we went to the event. We were amazed by it. And three days later, we went to Washington State and purchased a 40-acre parcel of land for $4,200 on the Okanagan Valley overlooking lakes. And later we sold that for over $20,000, which to me was just amazing to make that much money with such little effort. And from there, we continued and we purchased in 11 states. For example, uh, when I went to Texas with my partners, we purchased a deed for $6,000. And we knew going into that 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 property was worth over 100000 We weren't sure exactly how much, but we knew it was worth at least 100 And it turned out to be worth $123,000. So right there, we had a built-in equity of conservatively 100000 but potentially a lot more. And something that we could rent out immediately because it was a beautiful single-family home. It was a brick home. The alarm was on when we first went in the house. I mean, it was ready to move in, which to me was really uh, the proof in the pudding that his system works and helps you buy properties for pennies on the dollar. Folks, that could be you buying pennies on a dollar. Every one of you could do this. It's available in every state. It's available in every county. Just got to learn how. So let's learn a little bit about that. And then I'm going to show you a lot more people from, from the uh, provinces that have done just what you want to do. This is my fast start quick. And it, it includes a lot of things, but it, it's mostly uh, learning on DVD because we want to accelerate your learning process. And we know you learn with video much quicker than any other way. So we have video and we have, we have CDs that will give you audio so you can do that in your car. But this is a big course, and, and you can see it's priced right. It's, it's, uh, it's just absolutely a great value. But there's a lot of other things that we're going to add to this course to make sure that you're going to be successful. So stay with me for a few minutes while I tell you about the course materials because this could change your life and change your future because once you learn how to do this, you can do this forever. This doesn't change like the Internet does every week. This has been around for a long time. Once you learn it, well, you can do it. Now, this is what we call the learning library. It's one phase of the learning library anyway. And these CDs have questions that people have asked me, and I'll give you the vital answers so that you know how to do that and you don't go out and make any mistakes. We want to make sure you don't make any mistakes at the auction. But one of the most popular courses that we have right now is this one. I call, call this the hand-holding and deal-making course. Now, this is a step-by-step -step course on DVD. Now, the first two, you see four, uh, it's just two DVDs there and two CDs. The two DVDs will actually, you can slide those into your, uh, either your home computer or you can put it in your laptop, and you can watch on how to do this right on the Internet. So you can stay at home and learn how to do this on the Internet. And then the two CDs that are there, you can review all that when you're driving in your car. So that's, that's one of our most popular courses. But you, it wouldn't do you any good to have that course if you didn't have the other materials to go with it. So it's all part of a, a huge package. And then the other part of the learning library is these downloadable books. Well, we have the rules of the road that show you exactly. Every state has their own rules, so we've laid that out for you. So you can see, and we teach you how to research it so you, you'll know and not, be, not make any mistake. And then uh, you can see secrets of the auctions up there. Uh, we show you the process at seven different auctions. Now, there's going to be 3,000 different auctions, but we couldn't make a book for 3,000. So we made a book on that so that you can. So everything is there, and this is all downloadable material that you have. So you can see there's a big course, a lot of, a lot of materials here. But one of the special things that we have that you won't find anywhere else is what I'm going to talk about right now. And this is going to be my gift to you. For everybody that gets involved, this is going to be my gift. And my gift is this. I'm going to put you on what we call our question and answer hotline, okay? Now, on the question and answer hotline, it's every Wednesday. Write that down. It's Wednesday, and it's 6 o'clock Pacific. For one hour, there's a coach there. Now, it's, you're going to have Coach Crystal, and Coach Crystal has been coaching Canadians for well over five years. So you don't want to come across the border. You're going to ask those questions, how to do the banking, all that stuff. She knows it all, and we even have a special little course that we're going to give you after you get this course so when you're ready to go that you'll be able to do that because we know how to get the W7s and the W9s. We know how to do all that, and I won't go into it now because it's a little bit lengthy. But that's a $900, $900 value. That's going to be my gift. I'm going to add that, uh, to, add that to the program. Now, I want to take you on a digress just a minute, and I want you to go with me on a, just a little, uh, a little short a, a, a diversion here. I was in Orlando a short time ago working with Robert Kiyosaki, and he asked me to come and speak about tax lien certificates at one of their events. And so at the event I spoke, and I met, oh, there was hundreds of Canadians there, and one of the, one of the Canadians that purchased was this woman right here, and her name is Linda, and she lives in Quebec City. Now, if you're over in the West, you probably don't know Quebec City. Quebec City is about three hours north. I've been there a lot, but uh, three hours north of Montreal, and I used to fly there. My first career was a pilot, so I used to go to Montreal and then go up to Quebec City and whatever. But anyway, she lives three hours north. Now, she just learned this 
And then she bought at that New York auction that I showed you where there's 460 properties. And let me show you what she did. But the big deal here is she got, she got on that coaching line because she didn't know how to do all the step-by-step. -step. But she drove and from Quebec City down to that auction was a six-hour drive. But she was determined she was going to do it. So let me just show you quickly a couple of the properties. She made, prop, prop, she made money on all of them. She didn't buy a lot of glamorous things, but she made a lot of glamorous money. So there's the first one she bought. You can see she made about a $9,000 profit. She sold it like within a week. Next one, this one here, she bought for $0.09 cents on the dollar, a condo in that building. $0.09 cents on the dollar. It doesn't get much better than that. Uh, this is one she paid $0.15 cents on the dollar, okay, had a real high assessed value. Okay, here's another one she paid $0.16 cents on the dollar. But I want you to listen to what she said. She, uh, she really tapped into the coaching line and knew it was available for her, and I want all of you to do the same thing. But let's see what she had to say. Uh, what I like about that program is that there's a Wednesday night call every Wednesday night. Uh, so there's always somebody on the other end of, the, of that phone call that if you have a question, depending on what you're doing, that will answer that question. And uh, that made a major difference in our business because when Mario bought the six properties, uh, something happened at that, at that sale that I was able to call on that Wednesday night. There was Coach Crystal on the other side of the call. And she gives to us insight. So that night we were able to make a decision and then we went back to the, Mario went back to the auction the next day. But again, they really want to help us. They want to really help us make a better life for ourselves. Um, Crystal, the next day, called. She sent me an email. She left me two messages. And when I came back home that day, I was pretty amazed that somebody reached out to me like she was. She did. And she didn't have to. I mean, she did her job. She did her call. So that's the kind of the support that Ted's offering. So that's what you guys want. You want that kind of support, and that's what, that's what we provide. So everyone that uh, gets involved tonight, I'm going to add one of those certificates right into your, your package, and it's going to be a bonus, bonus from Ted. I have a couple more things I'm going to add in here that are very important to you, and this one is a, this is a directory. Now, we have an electronic directory, like you're seeing uh, flip the pages up now, for every state in the United States, every single state and every single county, so that you can look up in there, you can look up the name of the county that you want to buy in, you can get the email address so you can email them, you get the telephone number so you can call them. It's all in a directory like this, and we have it for every state. Now, you can actually purchase every state, but as part of the course, we're going to make sure you get the, the state that you decide you're going to go to. So one state does come with the course. Now, for those of you that already have an RSP, well, that's good in Canada, but you'll want to get involved in having an IRA in the States, and it's perfectly legal for you to do that, and we, have a, we suggest you do that. And the reason you want to do that is if you get your, your, you get your property in the IRA, you, there are ways where you'll never, and I'm going to say that word, you'll never have to pay taxes. So if you do a Roth IRA, once you do a Roth IRA and you put the property in there, any profit that you make for the rest of your life, you don't have to pay any, any tax on it. matter of fact, if you give the IRA to your son or daughter or whatever, or a relative, when you give it away, they don't have to pay tax on it either. So, so that's something that we're going to include in the course material. So you're starting to see we really give you a lot of materials in this course because we want you to be successful, and you will be successful between us, between the course materials and the and uh, and having a coaching line that you can go and end with. Everything has a money back guarantee, 100% money back guarantee. Uh, it's rare that anybody takes advantage of that, but if you find out this isn't for you, well, then just, just tell us, and you're going to send the materials back. But now I want to introduce you to Mr. Excitement. Now, that's a joke, but this guy's from over in Vancouver, and we couldn't get him excited, but he did pretty good on his first deal. Let's see how he did. In May, I found a few houses I was interested in, had about five to bid on, and my maximum bid was $26,000, and I actually acquired it at that value. So, And the property itself was worth uh, $38,000 taxable value. I did some minor renovations, and now it's probably worth about fifty-five thousand dollars. So that's almost thirty thousand dollar profit. So that's not bad. Thirty thousand dollar profit on his first deal. That's what he did. Well, you know, I have a question for all of you. I have a question, and let's get any see if you can get some answers in the chat box. How many people would like to do the program that we've looked at tonight, and use Ted Thomas's money to go buy at the auction? So type in the chat box if you're interested in doing that. So I'll ask the question again. The question is this. How many people like to get involved in this program, learn how to do it, and then use Ted Thomas's money to go to the auction? How many people would like to do that? Type it in the chat box. Okay. We're getting some reaction in the chat box. That's good. Okay. All right. So what's the best way for Ted to make money? You're going to be surprised right now. 
well, should I be just doing what we're talking about tonight, suggesting you get some books and some DVDs and CDs, or would it be better to do some deals? I'm looking for some people that want to do deals. And I do this with my investors here, and I'll do it with the investors that are in any of the provinces. And here's what I'm willing to do. So listen closely, because this could affect you, and it could affect your future. I'm willing to put up the money for you to buy at these auctions. But I have two rules. The first rule is that you have to put in a little time and study the materials. It usually takes about three or four weeks. And the second rule is, well, the second rule is the, the easiest one of them all, that you'll actually get out and do something. And what I want you to do is I want you to, after you've learned this, I want you to go to the auction. And if you'll go to the auction, I'll give you the money to purchase ahead of time. Now, when we go to these auctions, what we want to do is we want to buy for 10 cents on the dollar. And so I'm going to ask you to go to the auction and raise your hand. We'll give you the money to do it ahead of time. And we want to buy the property for 10 or 20 cents on the dollar. Now, what are we going to do with that property? What we're going to do with this, we're going to sell it. And when we sell it, the first thing we're going to do is pay, the, pay Ted Thomas back. And then whatever's left, we'll split 50-50. So I'm looking for people that are interested in making a deal like that because I'm willing to put the money up. If you'll be the finder and find the property, I'll put up the money to buy it. Then when you sell it, we'll split the profits 50-50. If you're interested in doing deals like that, why don't you just type it in the, in, the, in the chat box right now and say, Ted, I'm interested in doing some deals like that. Will you put up the money? But here's a question you could be, uh, you could be sorting out in the back of your mind. If you use Ted Thomas's money, how much risk would you have? Well, the answer is you wouldn't have any risk. So with this kind of investment, what you need to do is you just need to learn how to do this. Once you've learned how to do this, I'm willing to put the money up so that you can do it. Now, what I'd like to do is I'm going to repeat how the deal works. The deal works this way. Okay, what you have to do is you get involved in the course materials, and then when you've gotten involved in the course materials and you've studied them and you're ready to go, then I want you to go to the auction. I want you to raise your hand, and I want you to buy the properties at 10 and 20 cents on the dollar, and I'll give you the money to bid ahead of time. Now, once we get the property, we're going to resell it, and when we resell the property, we're first going to pay back Ted Thomas, and then we're going to split 50-50. Now, if you're interested in a deal like that, I'm going to put one of those right up on the screen because I know that there's going to be a lot of people that are talented enough to do this and want to take advantage of this kind of program. So let's take a look at what I can do for you and help you guys be successful a lot quicker, okay? All right, so number one, who puts up the money? Well, there it is on the screen. Ted puts up the money. So let's use a mythical property that has a $100,000 value. Now, remember, our values here are a little less than yours. Well, they're quite a bit less than yours right now. But anyway, our property values are less than yours. So $100,000 property, that's probably a three-bedroom, one-bath or two-bath in one, one of the American cities, okay? All right, so $100,000, but we want to buy it for $0.10 cents on the dollar. So you can see you need $100,000. So look at the screen, and you should understand everything we're talking about so far. Now, if we buy it and we get it for $0.10 cents on the dollar, our objective is only to sell it. Now, the market's a little soft, so I wouldn't suggest putting it on the market for $100,000. I'd put it on the market for $75,000. So let's do that. Let's put it on the market for seventy-five. dollars All right. Now, most of you don't have a sales experience. If you do have a sales experience, well, that's great. But if you don't, let's hire a broker, which I think is the best thing to do. So let's hire a broker. We're going to have to pay the broker. So let's look at the math after we pay the broker. So pay the broker. Now, if, if the, the reason I hired the broker was, number one, so you wouldn't have to do any work, but number two, what the broker will do, if it's a $100,000 value, she'll probably call her brother-in-law or someone she knows and say, look, it's a $100,000 property, you can get it for seventy five. Now, you decide, is that going to take us five days or five weeks to sell that? So let's say it takes us five weeks. All right, so now we've got $70,000. What we have to do on the screen now is we have to work our way down to the bottom line because what I'm willing to do is after all the expenses are paid, we're going to split 50-50. So we paid the broker. Well, how about if we just clean the property up? I don't like to fix them up. Let's just clean the property up. So we clean it up. Let's take out for that. All right, so all of you should be with me on the math. It's pretty clear and should be easy enough. All right, now let's hire an attorney. Let's hire a legal man and make sure he checks all the paperwork because you'll want to make sure it's right, and so do I. So let's pay legal man his fees, a couple of thousand dollars there. All right, now look up on the top of the screen that you're looking at. How much money did Ted invest? Looks to me like he invested 10000 So why don't we pay Ted back? All right, great. That leaves us 55000 So here's a real tough question that you're going to have to answer right now. Okay, this is the toughest question probably all night for most of you. All right, which side do you want, the left side or the right side? You get a chance. 
to choose right now. Which do you want, left side or right side? Well, is that a pretty good profit? What kind of ROI, what kind of return on investment do you have there? Folks, that return on investment is absolutely infinite. You can't figure it. It's too high. It's over a 1,000% return on your money because Ted put up the money so you had no risk and you made an infinite rate of return. Is that a pretty good return for all of you? People would like to do that. You should type in the chat box, Ted, I want to do some of those kind of deals. All right, well, what about Ted? Let's see how Ted did. Let's back up here. Okay, so property had $100,000 value. Ted put up $10,000. Everybody see that? But on the bottom of the screen, Ted got his $10,000 back. So everybody see that? Okay, so I got all my money back. So I invested $10,000. So let's see how I did. Well, I didn't get an infinite rate of return. I got a 275% return. Folks, I'll do that deal with you all day long. Everybody that's on this call, I'll do that deal with you all day long if you want to do that. And you know what's better than that? I'll even do a risk-free guarantee. That's right. My guarantee is 90 days to read the materials, listen to the CDs, watch the DVDs, take advantage of the, of the coaching, personal coaching line. You can do all that. And if you're not completely satisfied with what we're talking about here, well, what you can do is you can just send it all back, and we'll give you back all your money. That's right. We'll just give you back all your money. So let's take another look at what we're talking about here. Look at that screen. Isn't that filled with things? Wow. Okay, so there's my fast start uh, home study course there on the left. And that's uh, full of DVDs. Then we have audio CDs in the learning library. And by the way, that's a manual to the left with all of that transcribed. So you can just take the book out and read the questions and answer. You have to be, if you don't have your laptop with you or, and, and, um, and you want to just read the book, you can do that. And then, on the, then we have the hand-holding and deal-making. Now remember, the hand-holding and deal-making, that's where you learn how to do it online. You just slide those, those DVDs right into your laptop, and you'll see a person doing it online. You can learn how to do it. Then the rest of the reference learning library is downloadable. You get those manuals, especially, and you especially like that one that shows you how to do everything at the auctions. And over here on the left again, over here about the 9 o'clock position, remember our friend Linda, she came from Quebec City. She really thought a lot of her having a coach, someone that you could call. Now, a lot of people buy courses, especially on the Internet, and then there's no one to, no one to call. They say, oh, well, we've got, a, we've got a coaching line, and we've got this line, that line. I'm going to tell you, the Wednesday night phone call has been in place for eight years, and Crystal's been, been uh, checking uh, and helping Canadians for, for well over five years. So you guys can get right on that call. And you'd have someone that knows exactly what questions you're going to ask and be able to help you with that. In addition to that, you're going to get a state directory for whichever ever state that you want to go to, and then I'm a big fan of the IRA, and that's over there in that, in that picture at uh, about the 3 o'clock position. It says, the gift from Uncle Sam. Now, I know you guys have an RSP, and that doesn't sound too exciting, but if you buy properties within your IRA, you won't have to pay taxes. Think about that. And then there's Ted doing deals. I love to do deals with people. I'll fund you. You can be the finder, and I'll be the funder. You can be the finder, and I'll be the funder. Now, what is all that worth? Well, that's worth a lot of money, folks. Look at the property value. Look at the value of all this. But you know, I'm not going to stop there. I'm not going to stop there. So you can see this is a pretty power. You're only going to pay about, you're going to pay, you're going to get about 80% discount on this whole thing. But I'm not going to stop there. Watch this little video. Folks, I'm going to give you the bonus of a century. It's coming up right now. Okay, you just saw that was, a, that was an event. Well, I'm going to be in Edmonton. That's right, I'm going to be in Edmonton. Look at those dates. You want to write them down. November 17 and 18. November 17 and 18 for two days. Now, folks, if you learned a lot tonight, what are you going to learn if we spend two days together? And for everyone that gets involved tonight, that ticket you see on the left, you're going to get one workshop ticket worth $1,500. If you get invested tonight, I'm going to freeze my price at that 997 and I'm going to send you a ticket to come to that event. That's right. I'm going to send you a ticket to come. That's November 17 and 18. It'll be all day class. It will start in the morning at 9 o'clock and we'll go to 5 o'clock. And I'll actually bring investors with me that actually do this and you'll learn this. This isn't going to be an academic experience. It's going to be a real world experience. So let's take a look. Look at the value here. 5,386, and you saw the testimonies we had. Folks, just look at what's on that screen. Everything on that screen you'll get, and you'll get an 80% discount. Your investment is $997. Now, let me show you a few more people that are right from your, from your country that have done this same thing.
Here's someone that did exactly what you want to do. Just listen close. I learned about tax liens from you uh, many years ago. You came to Vancouver. You taught some people about tax liens, what they were, how they worked, and how us as Canadians could go down to the United States and invest in different taxing properties and tax sale properties. And I got uh, pretty excited about what I learned because I thought, well, this is something I could do. There was not a huge investment required. And I actually invested in several properties, several different tax uh, certificates. And it didn't take long before I got a phone call and I realized that actually I ended up owning some properties right at the very beginning. I don't know if it was beginner's luck or, or taking your course or doing what you taught me, but it worked out pretty good. I bought was this one right here, and the total certificate cost $132.50. And two months went by, and then I was mailed this piece of paper right here, which is actually the deed to the property. I actually ended up owning the, the property. This is the picture right here. What happened to me was I thought, well, I don't live there, and how can I do what you taught me to do, which is get rid of it really quickly? And so I went and knocked on the house next door, and this guy answered the door. His name is Kevin. And so I said, Kevin, what do you feel this property's worth? He said about $15,000. I said, would you take ten? He said, sure. And here we are shaking hands on the deal right there. And it didn't take long before I got another a letter mailed to me, and it was for the deed to this property right here. The actual tax certificate cost about $2,000, and this particular property was worth over $100,000. Well, folks, you know, it just doesn't matter who you are, you can do this, you know. I've taught 19-year-old kids how to do this, and this is Dorothea. I was teaching a class in Toronto, and she walked in the back of the class, and she said, Ted, I haven't seen you for a long time. And I said, well, how are you and how are you doing? And she said, you know, I just want to come and say hello and thank you. And so we sat down, and I'm not going to go through a whole hour of it, but just just watch, listen to what she said. This woman is 83 years old. I said 83 years old. Hi, everyone. We're sitting in Toronto, Canada, and I'm speaking with Dorothea Gardner. And I'm from Toronto, Canada. And I took kids' course four years ago. But I started with $30,000, and I made that into 130000 Wow, congratulations. Was it surprising to you to see how low some of the properties could be purchased? Were you surprised you first saw that? Oh, everybody, yes. That's what shocks them. They're absolutely shocked that if they had $2,000, they might be able to get a property worth 70000 in the state. The American prices are lower than the Canadian prices, which okay. shocks people in the first place. Right, right. But if they buy a deed for a few thousand, five thousand, six thousand, they may get that house worth seventy or eighty thousand. Fantastic. And then and that, you don't have to do too many deals like that to be pretty happy. Yeah. I find a concern sometimes when I'm talking to people after summer. They say, "Oh, I'm a Canadian. I don't know if they'll like us in the United States and all that." I mean, did you get a good reception from the people there? Was it okay? Or no, no problem at all. You just go in to any of the uh, offices there. We never had a, a problem. They, uh, you ask for the information, they give it to you, and they're most helpful. Folks, it doesn't get any better than that, boys. <laughs> we took 30000 made 130000 All right, well, some of you already know this gentleman you're going to see next. I call him Mr. Excitement. He's probably one of the, oh, no doubt about it, he's, he's the best speaker in, 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 uh, in, in North America. This guy is a terrific guy, and he's, and he's a lot of fun. And so I, I said, well, come and tell me. He learned how to do tax liens and deeds. He ended up going to Oklahoma. Well, he'll, let me, he'll, he'll tell the story better than I can. To make a really high return, doing a little bit of work, and have it completely safe and guaranteed by the government. I said, yeah. I would like that. I decided to go to Oklahoma, that 33 tax liens, and I chose them using the techniques that you teach to give the greatest chance of actually getting the property. And on some of them, most of them, I actually got my money back, guaranteed by the government, plus an 8% return. And on several of them, I got the properties. And so when you total it all up, my return was way beyond what you get in Texas. I love it. I'm happy. I make money doing what I love. It's easy. It works. It's safe. I love it. I think he said it all, folks. He said it all. That's right. All right, now there it is. Now let's take a good look at this, okay? You got $5,386 in value, and look what you're going to get. You're going to be busy for, for the next uh, probably three to four weeks just sorting it all out, but you're going to have a lot of fun doing it. You're going to get on that coaching line where someone's going to be able to talk to you and help, help you along with it, and we're going to look forward to having you at our class in Edmonton, so it doesn't get any better than what we're going to do. And so let's just take a look. Now, we're going to run out of time. And you're going to run out of time, too. So you need to make a decision today. If you make a decision today, everything that you see on that screen, you're going to get. But if you wait and you drag it out, 
So the things are going to start missing, missing up there, and we're going to start taking some of the bonuses off. For example, look down here on the bottom of the screen, and you can see that there's a gift from Uncle Sam. Well, that bonus is going to disappear, and it's going to disappear shortly, and so you need to take action. So on the 21st day of the month, that bonus will disappear. Now, up on the right-hand side, you can see that there's a reference library. That's also going to disappear. My point is things are going to start disappearing from this group of things if you don't take action now, so it's very important. Now, this is a big one that's coming up right now, a big one, and you're going to miss out on this if you don't take action tonight and get, in, get involved in this program. So you can see right there on the bottom of the screen, www.CanadianProfits.com. TaxCertificates.com. Just go ahead and write that down so that you can type it in. But look at that. Here's your chance to get two payments if you want. Uh, you can make the one payment. We're happy to, happy to do that. You have to pay a little bit more for that two payments. But that's going to disappear too. So you want to make sure that, that you get everything done. So I'm going to encourage you to get everything done tonight so that you don't, you don't miss out on this. But look at that package. That package is the best we've ever made for this kind of price. Uh, folks, you've seen your, 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 um, your friends. You've seen... Uh, Anyone that uh, hasn't done this and looked at this is saying to themselves, it's unbelievable, but I'm going to tell you, everything that you saw tonight is absolutely true, and every single one of you can do it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do questions and answers over the next few minutes, so just wait a couple of minutes, just stay there. If you've got a question, put it in the chat box, and they'll bring it over to me, and, and uh, I'll go through the questions. So if you have some questions, Kim, you want to bring those over to me? Okay, she's going to be give a big handful of questions here. Okay, so here they come. Okay. So when a city like San Bernardino or others who are declaring bankruptcy, we're, we are not at risk. Okay. All right. In the city of San Bernardino, if they go broke, we don't even care because you're buying this certificate from the county. So that's not going to matter. And if a, uh, if a pro property goes uh, into bankruptcy, don't worry about that. They're going to pull it out of the auction. They pull the properties out of the auction. Okay. Here's another one from Rick. It says, wouldn't the mortgage holder be bidding on the certificate? Well, folks, the mortgage holder never has to bid on the certificate. All the mortgage holder has to do is pay the taxes, and that would stop the auction. So the mortgage holder isn't going to show up. If the mortgage holder wants to stop it, uh, I could give you a lesson on, on mortgages right now. Mortgages have three things, and I can explain all that. I won't take the time now. But my point is the, uh, the, mortgage, uh, the mortgagee on the property doesn't have to do any of that. All they have to do is pay the taxes, and that would stop the auction. And here's another one. If you get the property, how can it be, uh, how can it be mortgage-free? Well, take my word for it. I haven't been doing this for 20 years to make this up. Uh, if you want me to give you the research on it, the mortgage will drop off the property. You guys are just going to have to trust me on that. I don't have time to teach you about mortgages tonight, but I will have a future one. Or certainly Dave can teach you about that and, and tell you about when the When that auction takes place, believe me, the mortgage drops off the property. Okay, um, here's the next question. Uh, is it just tax deeds that are mortgage-free? Yeah, uh, no. Yes, because if you buy a tax deed, you're going to get a property mortgage-free. A tax lien, you don't care because you're just earning an interest rate. You don't care about that. Okay, here's one. Is Ted going to be our advisor? Yes, I'm going to be an advisor, but I won't be on the Wednesday to call because Coach Crystal does that. But when you come to the class, I gave you a bonus. Folks, you, you, if you pass up that bonus, um, I'd have to say you, you've you got a problem on you. I'll be at Edmond for two days on November 17th and 18th. If you missed that class, I charge $1,500 a person for the class. I gave you guys a class if you get involved in the course materials tonight. Uh, here's David. Uh, his question is, what percentage actually don't redeem? Um, I think I gave that answer. Uh, most of the properties will redeem. Most people will pay the taxes. 95 to 97% of the people will pay the taxes. The ones that don't pay the taxes, you'll end up getting the property. Okay, here's another one. Can you provide me with accurate information on how to use RSPs for Canadians? Uh, RSP only applies for Canadians in Canada. If you come here and buy... I need to get you into an IRA. So look on your screen there, and you can see that I've got an IRA program. I, we've thought about this. We've done this for years. I mean, people, people uh, have been doing this with us for years. We know. So you can get – it's perfectly legal for you to have an IRA here. So you can have your RSP there, and you can have an, I, an IRA here, and you can, uh, you, you can take money out of that. Once you, once you make money in there, you can take it out. Okay, how much does it cost to open an IRA? Uh, you know, I don't know. Um, I'm going to teach you how to do it. It's probably a couple of hundred bucks. It's, it's not expensive. Um, the, uh, the expensive part of an IRA is not doing it. <laughs> okay, let's see if we get some more questions. Okay, if you have more questions for me, Kim, I'll take some more. Okay, pardon me? Okay, Terry, do you have uh, questions on your, your chat box that you can read, and I'll, I'll answer them? Um, no, actually, Ted, I don't. 
Okay, you don't have any, and you, you didn't get your chat box or what? You didn't have yeah, any no. I've, I've got some here, Ted. This is Dave. Oh, okay, good, Dave. That'll, I just want to make sure we cover everything for everybody. I mean, we, 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 uh, we want to make people happy. I don't want people to go home and say, oh, I didn't learn, I didn't learn. Very good. Well, I think you're definitely over-delivering, my friend. So, got a quick question here from Jamie in Winnipeg. It says, Ted, can this be done while I'm working at my full-time job? Yes, uh, you should keep your full-time job. I taught this class in Winnipeg about five years. I know it's Winnipeg. I always say Winnipeg. But anyway. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I taught this class here. I'll never forget it. Uh, what was that beautiful hotel downtown, Canadian Pacific Hotel? Anyway, so um, yes, keep your full-time job. If that's important to keep your full-time full -time job because, you see, tax auctions are all scheduled. So if you decide that you want to actually go to an auction, then you can schedule some time off to go to it or you can do it on the internet, or you can hire someone else to go take pictures of it and do it, uh, whatever. And so definitely keep your full-time job. Everybody that does this, um, even our coaches, work at full-time jobs. So this is this is extra money. So keep your job. Don't get, get rid of that. Now, if you want to just do this all the time, you can do this all the time. Some people do it. Um, but I would, I would definitely keep my work. Definitely keep that. All right. Another question kind of related to that comes from Linda from Edmonton. Uh, okay. Two-part question. So the first part is, you know, obviously I'm from Edmonton. I'm from Canada. I don't necessarily want to be getting on the plane all the time. How can I do this over the internet? Uh, we'll teach you how to do it over the internet. I can't give you one simple answer by snapping my finger, but part of the course materials will teach you how to do it on the internet. And then uh, after you've had a little experience at that, then you'll get. Uh, remember, every Wednesday night you have a coach, and you can do that. And, and we'll, show, we'll basically show you how to do that. You're not going to find this complicated. Remember, everything that we teach was uh, created back in the days when people didn't read and write. Now, of course, now we have to do a little reading and writing because of the web and whatever. But you're going to be able, we're going to give you a course. Um, look at your screen, and on your screen, go across the top, and the third thing that you'll see is the hand-holding and deal-making. The first two DVDs will show you how to do this on the Internet from wherever you are. And if you recall and go back, the two ladies that I showed you when we started, one was Peggy and the other one was Marilyn. Peggy was the blonde-haired gal. Marilyn was the uh, doctor-haired gal. The, the, both of those people are doing it on the Internet. Marilyn bought 48 certificates in a two-hour period in one day. She did all her investment program for the year in two hours. So I don't know if you'll get that done that quick, but we're going to show you how to do that. And that's what that course, that part of the course is. Now, everything goes together here. We don't sell it in pieces. This is all, all part of one big course. But it's, everything you need is in this course. All right, and one last question here, Ted. Ethan from Toronto says, uh, Ted, how fast can I reasonably expect to make my first deal or do my first deal? Well, uh, Ethan, if you did like uh, Linda, who was from Quebec City, uh, what she did is she went to the class one month and she did her first deals the next month. So it just depends upon where the auctions are by you. Uh, there's auctions every day, every week, and whatever. It just imagine it, it's up to you how much effort you want to put in. It usually takes a person that puts the effort in three to four weeks to learn it because you've got to work every day, and I understand that. So three or four weeks to learn it, and then once you learn it, you're ready to go, and you're going to find out there's too many off. There's going to be three million properties auctioned in this year. In the next 12 months, there'll be three million properties. So th there's going to be plenty. So you, you, that, that's not going to be a problem. You, you're going to find a, an overabundance, not an underabundance. Fantastic, my friend. Well, that's uh, those are the questions that I had. Anything okay. else you'd All like right. to wrap up the call with? I think we just better remind people that, uh, that I'll be in Edmonton on the November 17th and 18th, and if they want to attend that class, that, that was a, a gift we gave them tonight, so that was really big. And uh, we should remind people that two of the bonuses will disappear uh, in, in six more days, so you want to take action now, and the financing option will also disappear. So it's very important to take, take action and do things tonight. If you, uh, if you leave the call and you don't take action, well, tomorrow is going to be another day and you'll have a lot of things that will clutter up your day. Now's, a chance to do, now's your chance to do this. We'd love to, to meet all of you in Edmonton. And um, I think that kind of buttons it up for me, and I'll hand it back to you, Dave. Well, Ted, I want to thank you very, very much for uh, your time on the call today, and Terry as well, for your questions. Uh, everyone, I want to thank you very, very much for taking time out of your busy schedules and sharing your time with us tonight on this educational webinar. Highly recommend that you check out the website at the bottom of your screen, CanadianProfitsTaxCertificates.com. Again, that's CanadianProfitsTaxCertificates.com. Uh, phenomenal course. Ted has been 
involved in this business for decades. I've known of him for literally decades. Uh, yeah, so he's, he's not a he's not a fly by night kind of guy. In fact, I can't think of anybody who's more well recognized in the world when it comes to uh, tax liens and tax deed certificates than this gentleman. So. Uh, Ted, thank you so much for your time, and if you're at thank all you. interested in, in this subject, I highly recommend that you invest in Ted's program. Um, got everything to gain and nothing to lose. So, again, that's CanadianProfitsTaxCertificates.com. Thank you very much, everybody. Ted, thanks for your time. Uh, Terry okay, is good night, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye, everybody. Okay. Bye. Good night. Good night.